It's morning. I can't sing. Oh, in the fridge today, folks. We got a fancy dancy beer hand fucking delivered from Oxnard, California. Yeah, Oxnard. Sun, oh, words. Shadows on the sun. Double IPA. Casa Agraria with a handful of hops and a 8% ABV. I like to call this the beer for me. I don't know why I'm singing so much today. Really, this is it. Uh, story time. Uh, this beer was brought over by an amazing gentleman named Kelly. He uh, messaged me on Instagram and just said, hey, we follow each other on Instagram. I'm in Portland, wanting it together. To which I said, yeah, sure. I don't really know, but what have I got to lose? You know, I'm probably gonna go to a pub tonight anyway. I may as well just hang out with this stranger who also has pictures of beer. To be honest, that usually turns out pretty cool for me. I haven't even got it near my nose yet. Kelly, I'm not gonna lie. This is delicious. It's, I just love beer chat. I love sitting down and having those conversations like, yeah, but how do you feel about Melvin Brewing? And uh, yeah, over at Beer Mongers, we cracked some beers. Kelly apparently travels a whole bunch, so he knew the guys there. We had a really great time. Uh, all the beers on tap at Beer Mongers, there's only like eight or nine, they're perfectly curated, so whatever you pick, it doesn't matter. But then Kelly also opened up some beers for us to try and we picked some beers from the coolers and we sampled those. We had an amazing evening to the extent where he was swearing that he's gonna come back up and do another beer trade. We're gonna do a bottle share at some point, which is gonna be sweet because I have, as you've seen in my fridge, some really fun beers that I, I'm not gonna just sit here and open up by myself. I wanna share them. Uh, best part though is you have Kelly, this tall man at one point standing next to me saying, you, you like, you like that beer? You know what? Next time I'm gonna bring you a Velvet Merkin in the box still. <laughs> Which if you don't know what a Merkin is, oh. Uh... And Velvet Merkin is one of my favorite beers. He gave me a bit more of a history on why the name changes happen and said he has some that he can bring for me to try because I miss that beer so much. But it was just funny having someone <laughs> continuously yelling about bringing me a Velvet Merkin in a box. Okay, sir, uh, keep it down, uh, keep it down. In other news, Canada expects the uh, aluminum can tariff thing to settle down for the next few months. Yes, like with all of the things that are already inhibiting getting beer from makers to my mouth, the last thing I need is taxes on aluminum. And if you haven't seen it already, here is the man who owns 2,500 bottles. The reality is everyone is different. What I love is that it's such a conversational piece. Uh, it's impressive. It's also hoarding, but it's impressive. No judgment from me. And last, but surely never wanting to be the least, Budweiser, wait, where's the thing? There's a new Bud in town. Interesting. Funny thing about that though, is that she never drinks the beer. Do you think it's in Chalice Theron's contract that like, yeah, sure, I'll do a commercial for your beer, but I ain't drinking that shit. To end today, my beloveds, I have a bit of a confession, and then I also have a question. I film a lot, like a lot. I film all often, I film a lot of things, and I don't have time to edit most of them, Sometimes the things I make are just crap, so I don't want to show you those. I don't want to waste your time. Which one of the following videos should I work on and 
get out so that you can actually see. One, Marta, when she was visiting, her and I did this little brewery roulette thing where we went to different breweries. She listed off the names of the beers and I guessed what I thought the beers were just based off their name and then tried to pick a beer that I would like. Or maybe this video I filmed poking fun at BrewDog when the news came out that they were having an airline. We could talk a little bit more about what actually happened at the airline. And uh, I also speculated, I speculated then some things that actually came true. Or this video that I filmed during the melting hot summer talking about that time I went to a pirate festival a couple times. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The point of these videos are to have interactivity. It's really just because I want to have conversations with you about stuff. So that's all. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.